Hey guys, this is the Mad Chief, and today we're going to be exploring whether or not there is an Easter egg that is hidden behind the gaping hole at the start of the mission keys that through normal gameplay you can't get around or even over to be able to see what's on the other side. So we're going to start this off watching the cutscene that the mission keys starts out with, and then we'll get into it. The Covenant Network is absolute chaos. From what I've been able to piece together, their leadership ordered all ships to abandon Halo when they found the Flood, but they were too late. The Flood overwhelmed this cruiser and disabled it. The Covenant are terrified the Flood will repair the ship and use it to escape from Halo. They've sent in a strike team to neutralize the Flood and repair the ship for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact. There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. Oh, I see. The coordinate data needs to be... Right. Sorry. Well, now that that's over and you guys have some idea of where we are, we're going to get right down to business. But first, this is actually a Captain? window Captain? right through to where Captain Keys him. is being held, which you will know the looks of it if, um, if you've played this mission before. And that's something that the first few times I played through this, I did not actually realize. Although in the original graphics, the, there are a lot more... Um, uh, the design of that spot is such that it's a lot harder to see through it. As to where the anniversary graphics like you saw, it was a lot easier to see through the little window portion to see that that's where the big flood mass was, where Keys was being held. Just something I thought I'd throw in there because I know it took me a little while, um, a few playthroughs before I figured that out myself. Anyhow, so I'm just uh, clearing a few of the um, uh, Flood and Covenant out here. We're coming up on the big hole right now. All right, just uh, making, sure, making sure I can keep up a good amount of health at this moment. Um, Analyzing and yeah, so this is the hole. Through normal gameplay, there is no way to get over this hole or around it. So, there's no way you can go explore the other side, but that's what we're going to be doing today, exploring the other side. Now, unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to jump over to Halo PC, specifically Halo Custom Edition, um, as that is the only way that I can get the mods to, uh, to be able to do this, since this is... Um, uh, since this is the Master Chief collection this I have. Um, so you'll see that this first time I showed you, I actually uh, kind of messed up the jump because it is kind of tricky. Um, but Analyzing this next damage. time you'll see that I actually got it. Uh, I didn't show you all the other times I failed. But hey, there are three the separate um, mods that I used for Halo Custom Editions to uh, be able to achieve this. One is the um, Endless Clip mod to make it so I didn't have to worry about ammo doing this. Another is the um, uh, the... Uh, I believe it's called the Deathless Player mod. So, uh, if, um, if I start getting my shields taken out and my life taken out, I don't have to worry about dying. Then I also have the Super Jump mod, which uh, is the only reason I was able to jump over that hole. If it wasn't for that, then being able to jump to, um, then if I had tried to jump just like that, I'd have gone right through the hole. I wouldn't have been able to. Uh, get over it like I did without the super jump mod. Then I also have the jetpack mod, which allows me to take no fall damage whatsoever. Um, now, as you saw with those elites, I was testing out to see if they would come and uh, come after and try to kill me like regular elites, and as you saw, they did. So the regular elite NPCs, nothing special about them. Um, which I thought might be the case since they're in an accessible area of the map. But um, 
yeah, but now I'm just going around and uh, you know, checking out all the doors, um, knocking off all the enemies. I know that all these doors are red, but being that this is a spot of the map that you're not supposed to be able to access, I figured why not go and try them all anyways. Maybe there'll be some glitch and one of the red doors will open. That was my thinking anyway. Um, so just so you don't think I'm nuts as I'm walking up to all these red doors thinking, oh, well, I would never walk up to those in the first place because I already know they're not going to work. Just I know that too. It's just, you know, trying to be thorough here in the testing. So, um, as you can see uh, from the times that I've jumped already, it's actually, um, I can actually get some pretty good height. Uh, out of out of this super jump mod and now here's this door that's white that i should be able to get into but as you can see it won't open for me but i tried m meleeing it as well as shooting it uh trying a few grenades right here um you see i jump pretty high there but uh but whatever i do the door's not opening so that's definitely a glitch in the system which isn't to be, or which is to be expected, in my opinion, because Bungie never um, intended for people to be able to get into this part of the map, into this room right here. So, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a side effect of it all, really. Um, so now I'm on the very top level, uh, the third level, just trying these last few doors to see, see, uh, if I can get lucky anywhere, find anything out of the ordinary, any easter eggs possibly. But alas, there were no easter eggs that Bungie placed back here. But at least we tried. Although I do have one last tidbit to show you that I thought was kind of funny. I went up to this dead elite and shot them for no apparent reason. And then I saw this thing spinning on the floor. And I thought it was the game glitching out and the Elite's head was spinning. So I thought, I'm going to put this in the video. And I come back and I slow it down to super slow motion. And I realized it's not the Elite's head, but actually a needler spinning around th that I just thought was the Elite's head. So I figured I'll just put it in the video anyways for your guys' amusement. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. And I'd invite you to leave your thoughts and comments in the comments section, and to also leave a like with a thumbs up. Also, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more content coming out in the near future. I would also like to invite the community to make suggestions of different things they'd like me to check out in Halo games whether it be a certain level they would like to have a tutorial on, I'd be happy to do that. Or if there are certain bugs or glitches that they've seen that they'd like me to check out and explore, I, that's something I would love to do. Or if there's even certain games, um, specific Halo games you'd like to see more stuff on, or even other games that aren't, aren't Halo, then please uh, send the comments my way and the suggestions. And while I won't necessarily be able to look into and do everything I'm sent, I'll definitely do my best to, uh, to look over everything the community suggests for me because ultimately I'm doing this for your entertainment. So thank you for watching.